Hello. 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 I found a metal egg that I think is used for repairing pantyhose. So I'm hitting up a lingerie shop. Ooh, and hello to you too. Or what I like to call Wonderland. This is what I brought you. Oh, wow. This is a hosiery run repair machine. I haven't seen one of these in person. This is an older piece, something like my grandmother would have used back when they were repairing rather than replacing stockings. This model probably was made in the 1900s. Okay. <laughs> this is great yeah. grandma stockings, so they weren't yeah. sexy. Okay. <laughs> That's steel. Yeah. This heats up. Have you tried plugging it I in yet? I tried it in. I was so, so see. busy looking at the leg, I forgot about the plug. <laughs> Let's see this in action. Well, it's getting warm. Oh, it is. It works! It works! Yeah, look at it. It just goes on well. nice and smooth. Now that you put the stocking on here, what would you do with it? The heat of the iron actually breaks down the fiber so that you can repair it. Do you guys use a more modern version of this in your shops? This day and age, there's no need for something like this. To a collector, this could be pretty valuable because it's so rare. Though I love the lingerie shop, there's yes. only one thing I love more than that. That's money. Uh -huh. What is the value of mine? Ooh. Beautiful, warm leg. It's from the 1900s, so I would say $600. Wow. Yeah, it's really a great find. Man, that gives me a leg up on the competition right there. Mo hoes, mo money. Well, penny hoes, that is. Duh. How about a nice friendly trade? Huh. What do you say? You've gone from too much leg to not enough leg on that uh, girl. It'll grow. <laughs> <laughs>